Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to highlight the excellent Humble Choice Bundle, Humble Monthly, Humble Choice Bundle. I would say it's very, very good. Maybe excellent is a little bit of a stretch, but I would say it's very good. Kind of top heavy. So if you're not interested in Civilization 6, maybe you don't want to go after this, but I would say it's pretty good and it's available for $12. So not the $8 discounted price, but it's still not $20 anymore. I think it's just $12 regularly now. Whatever the case may be, I think it's a pretty good bundle. So we'll talk about that on top of that want to go over some big titles getting dlss support one of them is in need of it the other one i don't think as much but hey it's getting support for it that's great regardless rainbow six siege as well as red dead redemption 2 and i do want to quickly give you guys a heads up on the new battlefield reveal we'll talk that at the end of this video but first of all let us take a look at the humble choice bundle i would say it's pretty good so off the top very top heavy the premier game is civilization 6 not just the base game you're getting the platinum edition including six dlc packs and two expansions on top of the base game of course now if you head on over to steam right now civ 6 is actually on sale the base game is 75% off for $15, while the Platinum Edition is 76% off for $40.01. So if you have any interest in Civilization VI, this is a great way to go about getting the game and really takes care of that entire $12 cost when you do get the DLC and the expansions on top of that. Outside of that, you get some very lower key titles. So obviously this month is one that is super top heavy. Uh, you get Secret Neighbor, Stubbs the Zombie, Worms Rumble, which is actually pretty decent going under which is a cool little game panzer paladin which if you're into old school titles definitely one that harkens back to some of the games of yesteryear you get milky way prince of the vampire star which has a very cool visual style uh you get desolate as well which is a pretty neat little game you get ikenfell pawpaw uh, effie and then disjunction the caveat with disjunction is that it is a gog title so you get a gog key the rest of them you do get uh steam keys for those so a pretty good bundle if you do have interest in civilization if you don't have interest in civilization like all right yeah the bundle's probably not going to be for you but if you have interest in civilization the platinum edition to get that and a bunch of other stuff i think that's a pretty good deal for 12 dollars. given that civ 6 is 40 dollars for the platinum edition and even the base game is 15 dollars over at steam and that's on a discount it has a 75 percent off discount so this is an excellent value. I will leave a link in the description box below. Obviously, like to let you guys know, I am partnered with Humble, so I get a kickback. Just like to be transparent with you guys when it comes to stuff like that. All right, moving on from that, some more exciting news. NVIDIA had their big event yesterday. A lot of things went down. You guys aren't getting a 3080 Ti, let's be real. I'm not getting a 3080 Ti. You're not getting a 3080 Ti. Uh, you know, obviously, that's a joke. Hopefully, you guys can get a 3080 Ti. You know, I, I know I'm being Debbie Downer here. But yeah, I'm just being a meme lord. Uh, NVIDIA has just also announced that two AAA games will support its DLSS technology. Those two games being Rainbow Six Siege, cool. But Red Dead Redemption 2 supporting DLSS, baby, oh yes, that is awesome. That is going to make Red Dead Redemption 2 a lot better for a lot of people. Because that is one of the more demanding games on PC. Thankfully... Even with, you know, a 10 series card, you can run it pretty well. But if you do have an older GPU, um, depending on how well you want to run the game, it does become a little bit of a bummer. DLSS is very beneficial to a lot of these higher end games to, to see Red Dead Redemption 2. Getting it is going to be great. And hey, Rainbow Six Siege getting it, that's cool as well, I guess. But Red Dead Redemption 2, definitely the standout to me because that game does have some issues. Not issues, it's just a very demanding game from a GPU standpoint. So hopefully that'll alleviate some of that demand but very excited for that to be implemented and lastly do want to give you guys a quick heads up battlefield's coming back and we're gonna get the official reveal june 9th 7 a.m pacific time 10 a.m eastern so right when you wake up on june 9th depending on you know your location in the world but if you're over here in the states it's gonna be early in the morning and it's gonna be an exciting time i mean we've heard a lot about this new battlefield it seems like a lot of information has regularly been coming out but nevertheless it's still something to be super excited about i've always talked about it i'm partial towards bad company 2 that's my favorite battlefield game by far ever and you know, I was super into Battlefield 3, kind of into Battlefield 4. Since then, you know, Hardline didn't grab me like that. I enjoyed Battlefield 5 from time to time, but it's not like I got super hooked on it. Um, hopefully, this one can get me super engrossed into it, and I play it, you know, for hours on end. We're talking about, you know, the gaming sessions that went from, you know, on a day off, 10 a.m., 
into 2 a.m. that night. Those are the gaming sessions I remember with Bad Company 2. I was a little bit younger, less responsibility, so maybe that had something to do with it. But nevertheless, excited for a brand new Battlefield title. And we'll see the official reveal this coming. Um, what would it be? Today is... Tuesday, so that would bring us to next Wednesday, I believe, if I'm doing my math correctly. Yeah, next Wednesday, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern. Get excited for that. But that's going to wrap up this one. Again, if you have any interest in Civilization VI, definitely go check that out over on the Humble Monthly, Humble Choice Bundle. Great deal for the Platinum Edition with a bunch of other stuff. Rainbow Six Siege, Red Dead Redemption 2, getting DLSS support. That's going to be awesome. And Battlefield reveal scheduled for June the 9th. That's going to wrap up this one. Let me know all your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below if you guys have a request for a future video you can always leave that in the comments as well and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out